So welcome back to a new video on this channel and in the today's video I will present you my setup for 2025. Focus tunnel vision, victory lap, feel the crowd cheering, winning season here, energy reverberating. No short so let's start with my working machine and this is the MacBook M1 Pro that you see in my back. It's from 2021, it has 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage and it's perfect for me because I develop iOS and Android apps and I'm not doing something crazier in which I require a lot of RAM. And I saw cases in which developers had even 24 or 32 gigs of RAM and Android Studio just occupies all of their RAM and it suddenly crashes or it stops. So moving on to the audio and I'm recording this using this microphone which is on HyperX SoloCast and I spent 40 bucks on it and it's very good in my opinion. For 40 bucks I think it sounds amazing. I forgot to say that almost every product that I will present it will be linked in the description. So I have the Sony XM5s which are the best headphones for me and when I... Ooh, I almost spilled my coffee, so let me take a sip. So I decided to buy the XM5s instead of the AirPods Max because I compared them side by side and I listened to both of them and the XM5 sounds exactly the same and it's half the price of the AirPods. When I get bored of the headphones, I'm switching to speakers and the speakers that I'm using are some speakers from Edifier. The music sounds amazingly on them and they are around 100 bucks and one more thing that's very nice about them and that's the reason I bought them is that I can listen to music through the Bluetooth or through the cable directly but mostly I'm using Bluetooth when I'm working on the laptop and when I'm chilling on the PC I'm simply just using the aux. Moving forward with the keyboard so I have the Royal Kludge H. 81 and I have red switches on it and here is a typing test so you can see how it sounds. Moving forward to the mouse that I'm using while I'm coding and also gaming it's the Logitech MX3 and it's Logitech MX3 anywhere I think for Mac but it works on Windows so I don't know which, why it's called for Mac. So moving forward to the chair I'm standing on and this is a mesh spell chair from Ikea and I love that it's adjustable so I can adjust the headstand so I can move it up and change the direction and also the handstands are adjustable so I can put my hands however I want. Another Ikea product that I have in my setup is the lamp which is Fado and I like that I have an RGB bulb that I can set the colors and I also can use the normal temperatures of the light. One more thing that I got from Ikea is the desk that I'm using right now and I have it for 4 to 5 years and it looks almost perfectly. The tabletop kind of scratched but in the rest it's, um, it's the best desk you can get for around... 100 and a couple of bucks. You can get it even cheaper if you don't buy the drawers but I need them to store my things so yeah. Moving forward to the monitor that I'm using while I'm working and while I play games. It's a Samsung monitor which is curved and it has 23.5 inches and I can also gaming on it because it has 144 hertz. It's not the best monitor because it's kind of small as I said it has 23.5 inches but maybe in the future I will switch to something that's bigger or I will switch to an ultra wide monitor to see how it is. To keep my coffee hot I'm using a cup heater so this is from Shane I received it as a gift from my girlfriend so that's very nice to add your to your setup. So as I said I'm also gaming and I have a PC for that and it's not the latest Skyrocket you can imagine, it's an old PC from 5 to 4 years ago. I saw some videos on YouTube in which people said that you should replace coding with gaming entirely or something but I don't think that's the point. In my opinion you should game regularly if it's your hobby and if you enjoy that. So for example if you have 4 hours of your free time to learn coding or do a side project you should not spend all all the time or only gaming 
you can spend a couple of hours coding. For example, it's a 50-50, you are coding two hours and you are gaming two hours, or you are working three hours and play one hour. So let's continue with my PC and the processor is a Ryzen 5 2600X. The GPU is on 1660 Super with uh, 6 gigs of RAM and I have 16 gigs of RAM. So one of the most important things from this setup is the SSD. So it's a life changer because the MacBook, as I said, it doesn't have that much storage and I always run out of storage every two or three days even if i clean it i'm curious to hear about your setup so you can let it down in the comments and i will read all the comments of course if you enjoyed this video make sure to like it and hit the subscribe button so you can see more content like this and i also want to thanks to the channel members because you are supporting me every month so thank you for that and i also want to thank you to you all because we are already 4000 in the community and this means a lot to me Thank you again and see you in the next video and bye then, take care.